Wow, she has, she has multiple Grammys. An Olivier Award, described as perhaps the most potent female singer of her generation by the New Yorker, and a voice like 24 karat gold, which you can certainly hear right there, bringing her new show Eden to us here in San Diego for one night only. Mezzo Soprano, an executive producer of Eden, Joyce DiDonato joining us this morning to talk about this show that's happening tomorrow night. Joyce, it's so good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Ned. I'm happy to be here. Uh, you sound incredible uh, to hear your voice so powerful. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about, about your background because born in Kansas City. Yeah. Um, how did you even get into opera and how did you discover this passion of yours? Not, <laughs> not necessarily very um, logically, but I was, a, I was a big choir geek in high school and mm -hmm. I loved choir and I loved my high school musicals and I went to college to be like the cool teacher. That's what okay. I thought I was going to be, the cool <laughs> choral teacher. Um, but I got extra scholarship money to be in the opera, which is something I never liked when I listened to oh, it. Wow. I thought, I don't know what kind of sound they're making. <laughs> and it just like, it just grabbed me mm -hmm. at my core because it's, it's an incredible musical experience, but you get to talk about the things that really matter in life, mm -hmm. love and passion and, and the joy of life. And you do see a lot of people who go enjoy opera in tears. I mean, it takes yeah. you through emotional roller coasters. It goes right yeah. into the heart. <laughs> yeah, if it's I done well, okay. <laughs> if we do our job well. <laughs> well, we do want to talk about Eden, of course, because I saw some clips and the use of lighting and color. It's more than music. There's like a lot of movement. Tell us about it. Describe this show. Well, Eden is really, um, we're trying to build a new garden as we go across. This is going to be our 21st city. Okay. So we've been in Europe and on the east coast of the state, so nice. it's great to be coming to the west coast. Welcome to San Diego. We're glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you. And in the classical world, you know, music and nature have been such a beautiful fit. Mm -hmm. Nature has really been a muse for the great composers. Mm -hmm. And so we take music over four centuries, classically inspired, and it's all talking about this world of nature, mm -hmm. which is heavy on all of our minds today, right. right? And it's not so much that this is a project that goes about climate change, but I think it's about really making sure that we're keeping hope alive, mm. really making sure that we're not forgetting about the beautiful things that nature gives us yeah. and how she still takes care of us. I mean, this is a big conversation after what you guys have been dealing with in these last weeks, mm -hmm. but the sun is out today yeah. and the birds are out flying and nature is still nourishing us. Wow. And I think that's really important to connect back into as we look forward about how we go through this next that's beautiful. decades. Joyce, you gave me the chills saying that. I love that. Uh, and also talk about the learning aspect of this tour. You've involved students from a San Diego choir. They get to join you on stage? They're the <laughs> finale of oh. Eden, which is very cool. No I pressure. Like We've got 35 <laughs> middle school kids Coming from, from coming from the school. Challenger Middle School Choir. Awesome. But what we do is we prepare them not just musically, they're going to be singing a song that was written by kids in the UK. We do workshops in every city where we're going okay. to m meet the local issues, environmental issues that kids mm -hmm. are dealing with, and to pair it with the music that we're going to sing. So these kids are going to the Living Coast Discovery Center oh. and Coastal Farms. Yeah. So they're going to actually get hands on work, and then they're going to express that through the music wow. and really, I think, inspire the people that come and hear this to actually say, I'm not so um, cynical about mm -hmm. the world. We're going to actually take action and involve ourselves. And you named two places that are really near and dear to my heart, Coastal Roots Farm and Encinitas, Living Coast. Uh, yeah. It's just, you know, they preserve the environment that we love so much here in San Diego. So for middle schoolers to learn that and then turn it to music? Yeah. That's so great. Exactly. And it, yeah. But I think it's also in teaching them one of the reasons I love being a singer mm -hmm. is you feel the power of your voice. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so important for young kids, not that they have to grow up and be opera singers, mm -hmm. but that they have that chance to express things that they're concerned about in the world and things that they feel. Because I think a lot of middle schoolers don't always feel listened <laughs> to. And this is a chance for them to feel the power of what it is they want to say and have it be heard. Um, you are so much more than a singer. I saw on your bio too that vocation is a key part of your purpose it is yeah. um, that was a big <laughs> word around our dinner table growing That's up great. and we had to know what our vocation was going to be and I sort of um, it's important to me because I think especially today we don't necessarily talk about service anymore and how we can be of service to people around us 
I've been had the great opportunity. I'm going to be at the Conrad tomorrow yeah. night in La Jolla, this beautiful new I, theater <laughs> that got launched and then had to shut down because of COVID. But we're going to gather together as a community mm. and we're going to listen to music that's been around for centuries. I mean, some of the greatest things that have ever been written. And we're going to come together and do this. And that's being of service to the community, to San Diego, and to those kids Beautiful that are going to join us. We're so grateful that you're here and joined us in studio today. Of course, check out the Conrad in La Jolla to get tickets. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Ned. I appreciate being <laughs> of here. Of course. We'll be